This is Pine Ridge Cemetery in Hancock, New Hampshire, where members of the Dew family and their friend Jack were buried in the 1800s. I'm Eric Aldrich, and I've been researching this family and their story for a few years with help from many others. The Dew family was identified in early U.S. censuses as free people of color. Their friend Jack was formerly enslaved person. And as the story goes, Jack was captured as a boy in Africa and brought over here with so many other enslaved people. Somehow Jack became free and ended up here in Hancock living off and on with the Dew family. And here's Jack's grave right next to the graves of uh, other members of the Dew family. So I'll show you some of the places of this story. From the few sources available, we think James Dew arrived in Hancock sometime around 1779, the year of the town's founding. We don't know where exactly he came from, but it's possible he came with his friend Jack. And at that time, Hancock was still very much a wilderness. And this is where James Dew purchased lands in 1782. It's now owned by the Society for the Protection of New Hampshire Forests. James Dew's house was right about here, where there's a great view of Mount Scatutiki and hills to the south. So here, he and his wife, Hannah Dew, raised two children. Betsy was born in 1790, and her brother, Elliot, was born a few years later in 1794. At times, Jack, the former enslaved man, was living here. And on these lands, the Dew family farmed and tried to eke out a living just like their neighbors. When James and Hannah's young daughter, Betsy, grew up, she married a young man named Richard Razy, and they built a home about a half mile from her parents. And this is where Betsy and Richard's house was, right over the cellar hole. Richard and Betsy Razy farmed here in the early 1800s and had four children. Richard also served in the War of 1812. In 1791, James Dew bought 70 acres here on the western side of Hancock, near Mount Scatutiki, and gave it to the town of Hancock for the maintenance support of his friend Jack. There was an existing home formerly owned by Peter Warren, and Jack lived there in the 1820s. Not far from Jack's place was this pond, formerly called Warren Pond, and then at some point it was renamed Jack's Pond after Jack. And when Jack died in 1826, townspeople donated his gravestone to mark his grave. He was estimated to be around 100 years old when he died. And he was buried beside his friends, members of the Dew family. What little we know about the Dew family comes from records of the Church of Christ, much of which was written in the hands of the first two pastors, Reverend Reed Page and his successor, Reverend Archibald Burgess. Some of those records were about a string of disciplinary proceedings against members of the Dew family between 1794 and 1829. And the church records are archived here at the town offices. So in these records, the Hancock Church wrote about the Dew family's involvement in several disciplinary cases. The church disciplined other members for things like lying, not attending service, excessive drinking, feuds with other members, things like that. But discipline against the Dew family occupied an inordinate amount of time and attention by the church. And those proceedings didn't go well for Betsy Dew Razy. Betsy was disciplined for a few things, including violating the sacred covenant of marriage for not taking back her husband, Richard, who allegedly had an affair. Betsy stood up against the church and even demanded a hearing from neighboring ministers. The ministers ruled against her in 1826, and Betsy was excommunicated along with her husband, Richard, who by that time had fled to New York. And that was two months after Jack died, and as Betsy's mother was near her own death. After Jack and Hannah died in 1826, the Dew family continued living in Hancock for a few generations. Betsy and her children lived down the road not far from her parents' old place here. Betsy's brother, Elliot, lived with his wife, Lois, a few miles west of here. And Elliot struggled with poverty and alcohol until he died in 1843. 
Elliot's sister Betsy ultimately moved closer to town in the mid-1800s. Members of the Dew family grew up and moved on to surrounding towns and even further away. Some even served in the Civil War. In 2021, the Black Heritage Trail of New Hampshire unveiled its first marker outside of Portsmouth. This can now be seen by the public here at the Forest Society's Welch Family Farm and Forest, named after the Welch family, which came here long after the Dew family. Now part of the Black Heritage Trail of New Hampshire, it's a way of seeing the many stories of black history. Come check it out and see this and other places of black history.